All right, welcome back, and thanks for joining me. My name's Doc, and uh, for those of you who join me regularly, welcome back. Uh, you know, you guys are the best subscriber base in the world. Um, my channel's been up, I think, what, we're going to be at 90 days here on the 13th. And uh, we've already got 110,000 hits, uh, roughly, in, in just uh, a little under uh, 90 days. Uh, that is just utterly amazing to me. Um, you guys are fantastic, and uh, I just want to thank you all. Um, and I want to get right down to a very, very important issue. Now, those of you that have joined me regularly, you know that I have discussed the background uh, for the mystery schools, um, as well as um, I've put in a lot of stuff from Bill Cooper, who is uh, well known as the master of the uh, symbolism involved in the mystery schools and he brought that all the way from ancient men from Babylon uh, to the current day New Age movement as all being Babylonian Baal worship or Egyptian sun worship which of course the priesthood worshipped Lucifer um, and always has. Baal worship was the original Lucifer worship. Well. I want to get right to Share International because a lot of folks don't know uh, that Share International is also part of the UN. You see, Share International is is the offshoot of Lucifer Trust or Lucis Trust, okay? And what it is, it's their arm to disseminate information to externalize the Maitreya message to the world and externalize the hidden mysteries of the mystery schools to the people so that when they pull off these fakeries with technology that they would, i.e., according to Revelations, um, deceive the whole world. Um, and they're supposed to uh, do all kinds of miracles, uh, you know, and, and healings and miraculous sights and wonders. Um, and so I, I gotta jump right into the material uh, because Benjamin Krim, who I've mentioned many times, and as you all know, uh, has openly called for the death of Christians and, and anyone who believes in any type of monotheistic type of belief system. And I have a bunch of clips I'm going to show you along here. Um, but I, I want to get to this first clip that kind of sets the stage for the rest. And so let me get that to you right now. There are a lot of people who do study the Maitreya. They truly believe that he, it, whatever you want to call this, is the Antichrist. Yeah. And I know you, you don't get offended when you get those questions no, asked. And you, you're going to get a lot of those tonight, but I do need you to address that. People believe he's the Antichrist. Yeah. Why? Well, people are completely wrong because they don't know what the Antichrist is. The usual idea of the Antichrist is that there will be some kind of a man who will appear before the Christ and this is the expectation of Christians that the Christ will return, although they don't know when or the manner and uh, they, they posit the idea that before he comes will come into the world a man who could be mistaken for the Christ but he is in fact evil incarnate he is the devil, he is all the, the worst possible evil they can imagine. It's their own fears that they project onto Maitreya. The Antichrist is something completely different from that. It's not a man, it is an energy deliberately released into the world to break down the old order. Now I know some of you are going, uh-oh, he's talking about religion gotten into Antichrist and all that, but this is very important because you see, this is what the elites believe. And I've gone into it so many times now that it shouldn't even be questionable, it should just be considered, you know, fact. I mean, Benjamin Krim quotes Helena Blavatsky and Alice Bailey who all claim Lucifer is God, but it's not the kind of devil worship that you people are thinking about. You know, the Anton LaVey phony, hooded, goofball, flaming candles and, and chants wearing Merlin hats, okay? Uh, that is not what this is, and it's never what it was, and uh, that whole thing was devised to conceal the sun worship basis of the New Age. And remember that Hitler also 
revered Helena Blavatsky and bla based his final solution off her writings, which is exactly what this Benjamin Krim guy does. Now, but I want to get back to the facts, okay? Now, when, when, when somebody's debating on a biblical thing, then you, the, where, the place you go to see if he's being accurate would be the Bible. And not only is he being disingenuous, but he's actually telling you the opposite of what it says. It states clearly that it is a man, that it's a number of a man, that it is a man that's going to come into the world through possibly the political system, is, is what it appears to me to be, but it could be uh, through a religious system or, or whatever, doing signs and wonders and, and, and able to deceive mankind with this into tricking them into worshiping him and taking his mark. Now that's what the book says, okay? Not that it's some energy. Now I want to be clear because I'm just talking about for the sake of being accurate, okay? Because words mean things, right? They don't mean something else, okay? They mean what they mean. When you learned what words meant in school, that's what they meant. And when someone tries to tell you that isn't what they mean, or when they string a bunch of words together in a row that mean nothing but took a long time to say, so you're not sure if they meant something or not, okay, that means they're lying to you. Okay? And in this particular case, they're trying to fool you or keep you confused. Now, I, I want to illustrate why he says it's an energy because he's going to relate it to Pisces now this is very important because Pisces by the, his new age has always meant Jesus they always drew the fish that's why they said it was Pisces it meant Christians so from now on when you hear Pisces you have to replace Pisces with Christian or or Muslim or Judaism because they consider all those monotheistic religions okay and and very fundamental at, at at their belief level and he claims them to be the enemy just the listen is divided into two lots of people those not because they're evil but because they love them who are holding on to the old ways the old ways of isis the greedy selfish self-interested uh, ways of isis whereas holding on to one dogmatic viewpoint, whether that be religious, you know, Christian or Buddhist or, or Muslim or Hindu or Jewish or whatever, is not of benefit to humanity. Neither is holding on to uh, an ideological idea like socialism or communism or democracy. So as you can see, right, that they're not just talking about Christians here, okay? He even went so far to say that if you believe in the Constitution and democracy, okay, that you had to go, that you were not a benefit to humanity. If you have any type of strong belief, right, they mean to say that it will block their ascension. And that is what their, their God, Maitreya, says. <laughs> and all of this has been predicted, people. Just what is happening here has been talked about. Now, I'm running short here, right? But I want to, I want, <laughs> you got to understand, right? That first, he talks about how this guy's been here with us all this time. Supposedly, he lives in London, Chinatown since 1977. Yet now, all of a sudden, just like Bill Cooper said in, in, in Behold a Pale Horse, now, all of a sudden, he's going to get picked up over there in London by these four giant UFOs, and then they're going to go radiate in the sky and then bring him down so he can introduce himself via TV to you all. My trail is in the world. came into the everyday world from the Himalayas, where he has lived for thousands and thousands of years, and took up his position in the Asian community of London on the 19th of July, 1977. Uh, tell me about this star that we're hearing so much about. As he approaches the time when he's coming out, right out into the physical plane, speaking in the everyday sense of the word, he is here. He has come down from the Himalaya, 
in uh, July 1977, he has presented the world with a whole series of extraordinary signs, miracle happenings by the score for years and years and years. And the latest of them all is uh, not exactly a star, but what looks like a star-like luminary. There are actually four of them, so that everywhere, north, south, east and west, can see one of these stars. And of course, they're not stars, but they are gigantic spacecraft. What? They are gigantic spacecraft. And that's why I stand in opposition to a Luciferian world government and a new age pushed in schools and government.